Ik heb dat kort nog geen echt bewerkt. Wat did je just say? Can I have a pen? I can't talk without a pen. That makes a lot of sense. When you're crazy, you sometimes have to let your hands do the talking. The way you deal with this is you learn to enjoy being a passenger in your own body. They told me I have multiple personalities. They told me I don't fit in. But in a war between individuality and conformity, the individual is always outgunned. The conformists have the machines on their side. They think they've got all the angles covered. But they forgot two important things. Crazy people, we don't play by the rules. And there are always side effects. Detective Moss? Jennifer? Where's my chair? Victim psych profiles. Where'd you get a hold of these? You have any aspirin? No. Who's this? Suki. Apartment 64, upstairs. Are you a psychologist? My name's Jennifer Silk. I'm a criminal psychologist. I'm not a criminal. Why don't you tell me what happened? From the beginning. It's not always the best way to tell a story. No? Okay. Well, why don't we start at the end then? Here. Dead. 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 And dead. That's a lot of dead nutters in one place, and it all happened after you moved in. He's not dead. Go and find this one, would you, Detective? Make sure he doesn't go anywhere. Tell me about Juniper Tower, Suki. Why are you here? It's a halfway house for the mentally and socially inept. It's kind of a psychiatric version of purgatory. You're out of your padded cell, but you haven't really qualified for a place in the real world yet. They give you a room if you show a willingness to conform. You might still be under the impression that you can think for yourself, but you do time here until you get over it. The good news is, if you get a key to the tower, it means you're getting better. You're still a social leper, but at least you're on the way up.
I don't like elevators. It's not safe. You want my coat? God, no. Don't take it personally. She's very fashion conscious. She wouldn't be caught dead in that coat, or anything else for that matter. You moving in? Yes, yeah, Suki, top floor. Huh. I'm Cleo. Bipolar sex addict. That's Emily. She has a pathological fear of clothing. What's your thing? Dissociative identity disorder. Fantastic. We don't have one of those. Welcome to the suicide suite. You must be high risk. No, I'm not. What do you mean, high risk? Come down and see me later. I'll show you my secret milk bag recipe. Stay off the stairs. Yeah, I know. Stay off the stairs. It doesn't matter. We won't survive this place. You might as well jump. Everybody does. This is the real crazy. Anxiety and vomit. It's disappearing into a dark corner where no one can reach you. It's being ugly and stupid and alone. Just wishing you were back in the hospital. Her vitals are off the scale. What's happening to her? The machine just burned out another identity. Leave it on. We have to abort. My heart stop. I've got no pulse. What's that? Did you see? It's the scribbler. She surfaced again. It's okay, Suki. Stay still. Check the counter. It's online. Then we successfully eradicated two more identities. Do you concur? Yes. Suki? It's Dr. Satomi. Can you hear me? Oh, get out. How do you feel? Oh, hold on. Look at me. Say ah. Uh... No one is going to take care of you. Shut up. Yeah. Don't let the others in here dance. We're 
Hogan, what are you doing here? I brought sugar. I don't do sugar. That's not what you said last time. And I thought Juniper Tower was a female block. Every hen house needs a rooster. I checked the wrong box. Paperwork hasn't been your strong point either, has it? Maybe I've got it right and everybody else has it backwards. Yeah. That attitude will keep you off Sinclair's radar. He let me out, didn't he? I can't imagine why. Anyone who can't write a proper list is surely a danger to modern society. Oh, beautiful. You look like crap. Are you sure you're ready to fly out of the cuckoo's nest? Thanks for the vote of confidence. I'm just saying, most people leave this place in the back of an ambulance. So what about you? I thought you were cured. Why are you still here? Bing. I got myself a new entry in the accident book. Fuck. Hogan, why? Bad hair day. No, I mean, why'd you cut across instead of down? You're such a faker. Oh, you'd be crazy not to be. This place is full of girls with daddy issues, and I've got the penthouse suite. I'd do anything to stay here. In fact, I'm thinking of trying out that multiple personality thing of yours next. Could you give me some pointers? You can't do multiple personalities. You barely got one. <laughs> It's good to see you, Hogan. You're the only sane person I know. Did you know her? We were friends with benefits. Except we weren't friends. I don't mind the weird stuff, but she'd never take off the fucking bunny ears. No, I meant the girl who jumped. Oh, no. Well, sort of. We had a brief encounter. Do you ever put it away? I am providing a service. Trying to keep everyone's mind off suicide. No one else is looking out for us. We're all subject to the same risk assessment. If you dive out a fifth floor window, you got a chance of surviving, but your busted legs are gonna cut into the Christmas party budget. Oh, but you die from up here. It's one less benefit check they gotta sign. His name's Hogan. Somehow he's the only male resident in the whole block. Where is he? He's right outside. He's not going anywhere. Who's watching him? He's not a suspect. Why not? Because she did it. What happened next?
don't think it chipped a tooth this time. <laughs> So you knew Hogan from before. We were at the funny farm together. And this is what you people do here, is it? Huh? You run around naked, having casual sex with each other? Technically, that wasn't me. Oh, right, right. That's one of your multiple personalities. What's that like? Being somebody one day, somebody else the next? You ever been in love? You find yourself acting out of character, betraying everything that you've ever believed in, and you can't stop because you don't want to? It's like that. You're under Dr. Sinclair. What's his treatment? Siamese burn therapy. Sounds painful. It is. <laughs> Suki, but if you will do just one more session on the main unit, then we can move you out of here and into Juniper Tower, where you can continue your therapy at home with this portable burn unit. How do you feel? Why don't you come over here and find out? That's not Suki. Do you have to die? Dr. Sinclair! Come on, Dr. Sinclair. I love it, battery powered. <laughs> Arm. I said the therapy is working. How do you feel? Toilet trained. I've been losing skills. Can't roll my tongue anymore. I swear I used to be right-handed. You're worried you're becoming ordinary. Aren't you? Don't you want to fit in? Apparently not as much as you want me to. Getting cured and becoming socially acceptable are two sides of the same coin. Without conformity, society slips into confusion. Confusion's a word we created for an order we don't understand yet. What's that? Henry Miller. I think he was predicting the chaos theory. What did you do? 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 What supposed to pop a pill before the big event? Not that old. What do they have you on? Usual. Pick and mix selection box. You? Something new. New drugs? A machine. Siamese burn module. Burns away excess identities in patients with Dissociative Identity Disorder. Are you kidding me? Regulates synaptic firing patterns by running prolonged low-level voltage through targeted areas of the brain. It's an ECT unit. No, it's not. Don't have a flashback. Brings undesirable personalities under control that can either be assimilated or annihilated. These personalities may be undesirable to you, but they're my friends. Most of them. Side effects may include cardiac arrhythmia, memory loss, seizures and incontinence. You piss your pants? You even read this? Isn't it time you went home? For some reason, the part of me that goes for you ducks out for the small talk and leaves me to pick up the wet patches. This machine isn't gonna help you. It's gonna make you boring like everybody else. It'll be no fun when you're cured. Hey! Thanks for the sugar.
Don't give in. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. What if we ever don't do it? You'll die. You'll be next. You'll die. Don't be like Don't be special. You're special. You're nothing special. Don't be another cog. Don't be another cog. Be yourself. Don't be another cog. Be yourself. What are you doing? What are you doing? Why are you so afraid to be yourself? I push the button. Push the button. See if you can do it. Do it, you stupid bitch. Push the button. Push the button. Push the button. Kill us all. Kill us all. Do it, you stupid bitch. Push the button and kill us all. Punch it! Suki, wake up. Something. Something's happened. What did you do? What did you do? Wake up. Bates Motel. Suki, it's Dr. Sinclair. Is everything okay? Why? What have you heard? I thought I'd give you a couple of days to settle in before... A couple of days? What day is it? It's Monday. Oh, shit. Did you know there was another suicide yesterday? Who? Another jumper. Do you guys ever think that maybe you should seal these windows shut? Listen, I'm coming there on Friday to check on the module. You know, just hang in there, okay? Are you all right? The dog said what? Relax, detective. It's normal. What part of this is normal? The disassociative mind can sometimes transfer auditory hallucinations onto objects like animals or toys. Helps the patient localize the experience. So she's a ventriloquist now. You said you lost a day. And during that convenient blackout, somebody else died. The bunny. Did the bunny talk as well? The bunny. Do you know her? I met her once. Did she seem suicidal to you? You might as well jump. Everybody does. Actually, yeah. 
Oh, come on. You gave her that one on a plate. After the blackout, you said one of the altars had been removed by this machine? Another two. So you were cured? Not even close. Well, that's it. No chit-chat, no small talk. Where are you going? Out. Can you pick me up something to eat? I'm fucking starving. M meaty duos or chudleys. Not that small dog tender morsel shit. And a package. seeking bitch. Going up or down? We're on the top floor. There is no up. That's a narrow-minded attitude. I'll take the stairs. Good luck with that. about so high, brown and white. Did he speak with a Cockney accent? No. But now I haven't seen him. What's his name? Hogan. My doggy's name is Hogan. If you see him, do send him home. They made me wear this. The locals were complaining again and they singled me out. What kind of species outlaws the shape of its own body? What happened to you? Where have you been all day? The elevator hates me. There's a lunatic loose on the stairs. I'm never going to make it out of this building alive, am I? Probably not. Fantastic. I'm sorry. I should have warned you about Alice. She can be territorial. She's a sociopath. Uh, she's schizoaffective. I'm kind of a jealous type. Don't tell me you two are an item. We were for an hour. Oh, that's right. You can barely hold down a long-term conversation. What was I thinking? Well, what do you expect? Every time I get close to someone, they commit suicide five minutes later. I'm surprised you haven't jumped yet. Wow. 
I like what you've done with the place. I have gadgets. Well, I hope you didn't give any of them to me. Hey, put those on. I rigged an antenna up on the roof. You'd be amazed at the weird shit you can hear up here. Distant number stations, backwards music channels, cryptic messages in the white noise. Oof, have a listen. Almost down to the last two, the yin and the yang. She's bigger than you think and getting bigger every day. One day soon, she's going to spring out of the top of your head like a jack in the box. That's a little bit too weird for me. I haven't even plugged it in yet. Anyway, I need to borrow a video camera. Okay. But if you're thinking of trying to get incriminating evidence against Alice, just forget it. No one will care. It's easier just stay off the stairs. It has nothing to do with her. This is more of a personal project. You want me to come by in 10 minutes, pretend I'm there to fix a dishwasher? This one's a solo act. I'm borrowing this, too. Make me a copy. And then that whack job pushed me down the stairs again. Do you believe that? She's got a warped sense of humor. That's why I moved out. This whole building's full of fucking lunatics. All I want is a couch and a bit of love. But what do I get? Cell farmers, Christ complexes, and shit smeared on the walls. You people are disgusting. They tell me not to listen to the voices in my head. What do you have to say about that? I say fuck them. They're your voices. If you can't trust yourself, who can you trust? Good point. This one. Emily. She was young, very beautiful, must have had a lot to live for. Where were you when she died? I don't know. I think I do. Go back to the machine. You didn't know who modified it or what it was going to do to you. But you used it anyway. The dog made me do it. You really are out of your mind, aren't you? Have you both read the latest report on patient 107? Well, her name is Suki. Our latest concern is her suspicion that one of her alters, the identity she refers to as the Scribbler, may in fact be inhuman. Or superhuman. The Scribbler thinks it can fly. Under its influence, Suki could become very dangerous. This might be patient 99 all over again. Thank you for the general reminder, Dr. Kareem. But if patient 99's machine therapy had not failed, we would not have stumbled on the burn process. This time, we are not trying to cure the incurable. What makes you think your new machine will be any better than the last one? We will focus on burning out as many altars as possible for now, Dr. Kareem. And if the Scribbler survives the treatment, so he will still have a 50-50 chance at control. So now we're the odds. We all live with duality every day. We're all a little yin and a little yang. What is Suki's yang is homicidal. It won't affect the experiment. Hey, wake up. Oh, you're one of them, aren't you? From in there? Why don't you get a job and take control of your life? You won't be able to hang around here forever. He's, they He's, He's, one of them. He's, the He's just a drone. He doesn't know. Break his neck. Cut his neck. Kick him off. Off. And just break his neck. You'd be doing a lot of things. You'd be doing the world a favor. Bothering you. It's clear she's one of us. Is she parked illegally? Is she sitting on the yellow line? I no. That's right, little man. There's only one line that separates your pathetic little world from ours, and you just crossed it. Well, I, I didn't mean to. So why don't you keep your rules and your regulations and your 
harping citations to yourself and will keep our group sex and mutilation and cannibalism to us. Capiche? Is, is this that thing poisonous? Mm. Not the snake you need to worry about. You don't know where I've been. <laughs> <laughs> Wednesday. Fuck if I know. I heard you're afraid of elevators. Is that supposed to be funny? What are you doing here? Looking for my dog. Are you sure you haven't seen him? He has fleas, you know, fleas and ticks and rabies. Is that why you named him Hogan? Hogan's my friend. We were friends since before you got here. Everything was fine until you showed up. As soon as you moved in, people started diving out the windows. What does that tell you? I don't know, Alice. Maybe my deodorant doesn't work. Where were you last night when Emily jumped? Emily jumped. Who do you have in there? No one. But the security chain's on. Locked yourself out from the inside. Just how crazy are you? Good question. It wasn't us. It wasn't us. The scribbler did it. She's crazy. Don't. We know what she's doing. She's rewired everything so she can get out. Selfish bitch. She's using she herself. She wants to be free. She wants to be free. Where's the camera? Oh. Hogan's gonna blow a fuse of his own when he gets a load of this. What happened? Huh? You were supposed to be on the lookout, you little shit. Hello? Anybody home? Don't suppose you have anything to say about this either. Oh. <sighs> you think I'll go for it? 
I think you could be wearing a gorilla suit and it'd still be a sure thing. Hey, where you been? You missed Emily's grand exit. Can I ask you something? Anything. Do you want to be cured? <sighs> oh, you mean, do I want to be normal? <laughs> Nobody's gonna cure me, honey. I'm a lost cause. I'm starting to think that maybe being normal may not be a bad option. Does that mean I'm losing my soul? <sighs> you know what they say. If you're losing your soul, then you know it. Then you still got soul to lose. Whee! <laughs> Bukowski. Hmm? Bukowski said that. saying I didn't find out until I read the damn paper. Well, I, I still don't know which patient got out. Call me when you have the details. I'm at Juniper. I hate home visits. Light of the suicide rate around here, I thought I'd check on you sooner. What happened to your face? Uh, self-inflicted, crazy person shit. <laughs> I said I was better. I didn't say I was cured. Oh, Hogan, do you remember Hogan? He lives right over there. Not easily forgotten, Hogan. Are you going to invite me inside? Uh, uh... Yeah. I see you've uh, redecorated. Do you like it? I'm hoping it'll catch on. You are still on the machine, aren't you? You know you can't afford to miss a session. Relax, Doc. I am following by the book. And the voices? Getting quieter every day. The scribbler is still very active. Yes, but that one can't talk, remember? Unzip your head. <laughs> What's that? Uh, the pipes, bad plumbing. You should seriously have it checked out. This place leaks like a 10 year old condom, and don't get me started on the electric. I mean, these lights. Are it's fine. better than a padded cell, Suki. I have to check the counter on the module. Oh, it's at a six. 
I'll check it anyway. Uh oh, busted. Back to the funny farm. You'll have to knock him out. Or just do something. Knock him out. Knock him out. What? How did she get out? Her window was smashed. Why wasn't I called about this right away? I'm sorry, sir. And I didn't want to bother you. You're sure it's patient 99? Yes, sir. Pull all the files. I'll be back right away. Who's patient number 99? Is it me? No. No. I have to cut this short. Uh, goodbye. Oh. Lovely seeing you, Dr. Sinclair. Thank you so much for coming to home safe. was like a fucking wolf. He went primal. I mean, his teeth, his teeth were like this big. Look at the door. Who am I talking to right now? It's me. Because I know one of your personalities is a compulsive liar. You don't believe me? <sighs> you believe that? Fuck me. That's, that's my amp. And my clock. This is all shit from my apartment. What'd you steal all my shit? I didn't. And if I did, it wasn't me. Oh. Uh, you mind? You mind if I just... Knock yourself out. These circuits. They're all messed up. Nothing makes sense. It's all back to front. Oh. Has it done that before? No. What's it doing? I don't know. Oh. Let's test it out. You're not touching that dog. No, on me, stupid. Come on, hook me up. This isn't like nicking my medication when I'm not looking, Hogan. That thing could kill you. All right, I'll do it myself. Where do these go? Here? Yeah? Stop fucking around. Whoa, 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 whoa. No, 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 It's not safe. Hogan, you don't understand. No, you look all right. I'm not. Something's happening to me. There's something in the scribbles. Don't be a dick. on the wall. 
<laughs> you plug yourself in. You let her out. She gets out. She modifies the machine. She's turning it into something better than the one What? What are you doing? Every synapse in my brain is firing to its full potential. This is the real me. I want to meet the real you. I am the real me. Are you? There's yin and yang in all of us, Suki. And your yang is screaming to get out. You're right, there is a screaming egg inside of me. I don't think natural yogurt is going to cure it up this time. Punch it. Detective. What? It's clearly past our medication time. Listen, just because you're a basket case doesn't mean you're not heading for a cell without the soft padding. The cute face sad eye routine might work on her. You think I'm cute? Would you excuse us for a minute? You're undermining my process. I was going to say the same thing to you. This is police work, Silk. It's not group therapy. Don't fuck with me, Moss. You're not smart enough. I'll get more out of her in half an hour than you'll get all night with your bullshit cop attitude. So why don't you back the fuck off? You need to listen to what she's saying. She's just messing with us. I don't think so. You can't possibly believe any of that horseshit. The point is, she does. Her whole story is a delusional version of the truth. We'll only find out what really happened if we read between the lines. She's wasting our time. She's talking in metaphors. We need to figure out what they mean. You know what a metaphor is, right? So, after you metaphorically flew out the window, what happened next, metaphorically? I don't remember. Another blackout? Why did you do it? After what happened to Hogan? Why take the risk? Sometimes your right hand doesn't know what your left hand is doing.
Hogan. It's late for Halloween, isn't it? What happened? Leo. It happened last night. Cops were here. Wanted to talk to you. What am I gonna tell them? I don't know where I've been. I do. She's beautiful. What is it? Don't you know yet? You saw what it did to me. I don't know what I saw. You saw me, Suki. You saw the real me. Without the disguise, without the therapy, without the sedatives. I was glowing. We both were. That wasn't me. You still think this is the real you? This is just a mask you wear. This person that you call Suki? Don't say it. She's just another altar. Shut up! <laughs> she created you to deal with the shrinks and the suits and all their bureaucratic bullshit. I don't know what you're talking about. Suki is just a puppet imitating human behavior. I know who I am. No, no, you don't. None of us do. Everyone in the world is suffering from multiple personalities. No one knows what their real face looks like anymore. It's all fake. I have to get out of here. No. And go where? Out there with the mundanes? They're all fake, Suki. They're all photocopies. <laughs> Sinclair tried to make you one of them by killing the best part of you. But he started something his machine can't stop. Because it works for us now. The scribbler rewrote the rule book. And she wrote it backwards. Because she's insane. You don't know what she's been doing. Yes, I do. She's giving you a chance. Find your true nature. And be reborn. Look. Look, it's right there. Just one more burn, Suki. You'll be free forever. If you're right, then one more burn and I'm gonna be dead. One of those numbers is me, Why are you so scared? Why are you? then you know very well that they're extensions of yourself. Oh, it's trying to kill me, but I don't know if it's really me. I can't trust anyone. I can't trust myself. 
Everything is back to front. Nothing is back to front. That is the Scribbler's influence. You know it. We've talked about it many times. Cleo's dead. I think the Scribbler killed her. You have to lock me up, Sinclair. I'm sick. I'm delusional. The machine's done something to me. I'm seeing things. What sort of thing? Monsters. Where are you, Suki? I don't know. I'm in a phone booth near the tower. Stay there. I'm coming to find you. Where is she from? Holmes. Foster care. The street. She's been through the system both ways. We don't have much information on her. We know that she didn't speak until she was 11. Up until then, she communicated by writing, but as you can see... She writes backward. We think that an early childhood trauma led to her disassociative problems. The instability of the child care system would have been fueled to fire. She probably adopted an identity for each new situation. Eventually, she fell through one of the cracks and ended up here. When was that? Four years ago. And nobody's come looking for her? Nobody wants her. Some of her identities can be a bit wild. Is this IQ score a typo? It's higher than mine. I know. She's not stupid. But she is an extreme case. Disassociated with borderline schizophrenia. It took us six months just to get her to sit still and take the test. She seems pretty calm in there. She's currently under the influence of an identity she calls the Scribbler. A manifestation like this is a rare occurrence. The Scribbler doesn't come out to play very often. And she has no friends. No. No family, no home, and as you can see, no real identity. She's a bona fide lost soul. She's the perfect candidate. Well, that's what he said about patient 99. Have her transferred to my wing immediately. Go in there. Get her on film. Can she hear what's going on out there? No. The walls are soundproof. Suki? Can I talk to Suki? Do you live inside her? Nice outfit. I'm trying out a new look. Come on, I'll take you home. I'm not going back to the tower. You don't have anywhere else to go. Who's Veronica Horn? That is a confidential file, Sue. This is patient number 99. I heard you on the phone. You, you lost her. I didn't lose her. Give me the give me the file. Well, she was on a machine too? It was a different kind of machine. It didn't work. It give me the file. It made her worse. I tried to help her. She was an incurable. Jesus Christ. What did you do to her? It's complicated. So am I. Try me. She... She was a paranoid schizophrenic with a homicidal jealous mania, and she killed everyone her boyfriend ever slept with, and then she killed her boyfriend. Why are you so interested? Because I know her. You know her. She's here. Patient number 99 is right under your nose. 
Only we all call her Alice. Suki, wait! This isn't Alice! Yeah, because the real Alice is probably buried under her floorboard! What are you talking about? Hogan slept with half the women in this building, Sinclair. He said everyone he gets close to commits suicide. Every hen house needs a rooster. We had a brief encounter. When did she get loose? You're sure it's patient 99? Who's patient number 99? I should have warned you about Alice. Kind of a jealous type. My doggy's name is Hogan. She was trying to warn me. Who was warning you? The Scribbler! There hasn't been any suicides here, Sinclair. It's just Alice doing what she does best. Pushing. Wait here while I call the police. I'm gonna go get Hogan. I was trying to help her. I thought if she saw a better side of herself. I've seen that better side, Hogan. And it isn't pretty. Oh, she was bouncing around the room like a pinball. I didn't know she was so messed up in her head. There's something terrible in there. And now it's out here. I thought she was going to kill me. She is. The only reason you're not dead yet is because I'm still alive. What? She's following a pattern. Everyone you've slept with, Hogan. Emily, Cleo, those girls didn't jump. They were pushed. Oh, my God. This is my fault. And she's coming back for you. But... No, no. I can't, I can't. Just go. Just go! Just, you gotta get out of here. If she comes back, I'll try to hold her off. You're not gonna be able to stop her. Neither will you. Maybe not me. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. I forget what I said before. The machine's dangerous. I don't know what I'm talking about. Fuck the scribbler. It's not you. Call me. Whoever you want to be. No, you're right. I am her. I hope that she's me. No, it'll kill you! When you're crazy, you sometimes have to let your hands make decisions for you. You watch them writing on walls, defacing road signs. You watch them like they belong to someone else. And the way you deal with this is you learn to enjoy being the freak that everybody expects you to be. You watch your hands writing backwards. You learn to read in reverse. 
You learn to think from the bottom up. Suki. Suki Izuka. This must be an important part. The machine belongs to me now. You can't have it. Oh. Alice! Yeah. First the hens, then the rooster. I'm coming back for you, boy. I did this to you. It's my fault. Leave it alone. God made me this way, Helgen. I'm sure he knew what he was doing. They say you find out who you really are on the way down. But I've already seen it. The Scribbler's machine shows you everything. It wakes up parts of the brain that we never use. Side effects include telekinesis, super strength, and cool hair. They also include Bad Alice. The machine shows you who you are on the inside. For better or worse, Hogan is a child, innocent and unspoiled. Alice is stained black by jealousy and resentment. And me? You jumped. I'm gonna tell him it's because you couldn't live with erectile dysfunction. Think about that on the way down.
beautiful on the inside. She never wanted to take over. She just wanted to... Symbiosis. She needs me. Because you can talk. Because I can deal with the bullshit. I found this. I can fix the machine. Doesn't matter. Mr. Hogan? Where's Yuki? She's upstairs making her statement. And don't think about going anywhere, because you're next. Oh, no. Why you take my water? You want to tell me what I saw here tonight? Suki wanted me to give you this. Your world is back to front, not mine. We've been telling you that for years. Yeah, I know. Come on, fella.
So you're saying that Alice... Veronica. Right, Veronica. Are you saying she threw herself off the roof? Her last push. Is that a metaphor for something? I don't think so. Stay here. and rules, they don't apply here. There are no black and white answers for you, just gray areas, just human psychology. Jennifer will understand. They tell us madness is culturally relative. I say it's culturally relevant. When you're crazy, your right hand doesn't always know what your left hand is doing. You deal with this by learning to appreciate the importance of symmetry. Left brain, right brain, yin and yang. It doesn't matter whether you're coming up heads or tails, you still need both sides of the coin. You have to understand that before you can ever hope to understand yourself. I see a world of people who aren't who they think they are. waiting for someone to wake them up. Waiting to shine.